Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Sandy. Thank you very much, and thank you, Sharon and Lee, for, for being here as well. Um, I, I think it's very important for us to just step back a second on ADA because uh, we're so bogged down in the negatives. I think we need to back up a bit and realize um, a little bit about the ADA. ADA established in 1990, passed 1990. Well, 2005 about, we now know what the courts finally have decided what they interpret ADA to be. Not what we wanted as far as we are concerned with epilepsy. So what generally happens when that happens? It's happened many times before. This is nothing new. When the courts misinterpret a law that the Congress has passed, the Congress comes in and repasses the law and says, hey, you dummies on the court, this is what we meant. And they pass another law clarifying what they intended to do in the first time around. So ADA restoration is basically saying, look, Congress, we did mean to include epilepsy and diabetes and so forth in ADA when we first passed it. And that's all this is. So when you meet these members of Congress and so forth and so on, these staffers, make sure they understand what the original intent was. Make sure they understand that when this bill was adopted, by the House and Senate, it was adopted by overwhelming numbers of Democrats and Republicans. It was bipartisan then. It should be bipartisan again. And so those issues are not there. What has happened is that the first time around, the chamber fought us. Nothing new. And they're fighting us again. I'm not surprised. Some people are claiming that it's baldness. Some people are claiming that, that it's tattoos. Some people are claiming hanging cuticles and all these different things. If some people tell you that, you ought to immediately be insulted. Insulted. ADA means something to you. It's not a laughing thing. It's not a humorous thing. You or your loved ones are being discriminated against. And somebody should make a mockery of this law to protect you or your loved ones. And you should let them know that. And when you go to the Hill, I think the most important thing for you to do is for you to be honest. Don't be afraid to tell the truth about what you really feel, about how you're impacted. I think the most important thing for you to do is to show your emotion, to let it out. Be real about what you go through as an individual with epilepsy or as a loved one of an individual with epilepsy. Let them see the hurt. Let them see what it's like for us to live with it. Supreme Court says, if you do have seizures and you can't function, you are disabled. But if you have medication and you don't, but what about those of us who have seizures periodically? In other words, you're saying that when I don't have seizures, I am not covered by the ADA, but as soon as I have a seizure, I am, but then when I don't have seizures, I'm not. That's rather confusing for both the employer and for me. So you've got to let these elected officials and their staff know what the facts are for you personally. And I'll tell you what, in most cases, the staff, House and Senate, members, House and Senate, if you're real, if you're not afraid to say how you personally are impacted, if you're real, if you're willing to really say what is happening with you, you'll have an impact. If you want to cover it up, you want to use the jargon that's on, these, on that uh, screen, 
Don't go up there because you won't have an impact. It's just another visit. The way you have an impact, show your hurt. Show that you're real because this is serious. Let them bring up partisanship and then go at them. Let them bring up tattoos or baldness and then go at them. There's no reason, no reason whatsoever that this bill shouldn't be adopted in the House this year. My goal, July 26th, anniversary of the ADA, White House ceremony. W signs it, and Papa Bush is at the signing ceremony. Isn't that a sweet picture? Why not? <laughs> Why not? And it is doable. It is doable. And some people may say, you're dreaming. But you know what? If we don't dream, we'll never get there. And if we don't wish, it'll never happen. And you know what? It is doable. It is doable. I appreciate the fact that all of you will go to the Hill. I appreciate all the fact that all of you come to this event. It's been going on, and I've participated in every year since we started. But the most important part, I know it's difficult for a lot of you as loved ones to open up your hearts and let people know what you personally go through. But this time you have to do it. You just have to do it. It's important for those of us with epilepsy that you do it. And we're close to making it happen. If we weren't close, I wouldn't be pushing you as hard. But we're close. We're very close. And we can get it done with your help. Thank you very much.